Hello, and welcome to Monster Breeder by Neil C. Sariga. Link in the description to play this game for free because it's a browser game. You pop the link in your browser and you got a game, baby. But if you want to support Neil, there's a Patreon, there's a Ko-fi, there's a PayPal, that's the Twitter. Uh, there's also very many other ways to support Neil via, uh, you know, random internet endeavors, the tons of musical albums they put out, you know, there's, there's just a lot of it. But also, if you're able to, you should go support the Rosebud Sioux Tribe with their COVID-19 relief fund. Uh, link in the description as well. I'm pointing downwards because that's where the description should be. You can go support that. And then you can support Neil as well while you're at it. You just If you're able to, just support a whole bunch of people. It's cool and fun to do. Uh, so Monster Breeder. You might not believe it, but it's a game about breeding monsters. You are a monster breeder. You have grown tired of the same old scares. The real money is in designer monsters. By crossbreeding traditional monsters, you can discover exciting new creeps and fiends never before imagined. So let's go breed some monsters. And we will be breeding some monsters. Uh, so this game was made in 2018, uh, made in two weeks in JavaScript. Uh, there are 1,176 different combinations of fiends for us to breed together. So we're at our ranch. We can visit our monsters, of which we don't have any. I don't believe you start with any monsters. Yeah. Sadly, a recent breakout of the monster flu totally wiped out your stock of monsters. These things happen. It's part of the trade. Uh, so we got to go find some new monsters. We could browse the catalog. Uh, I believe from here we can get some gear that would help us. Um... <laughs> The Doomsday Monster Rig. I don't know if we start off. Yeah, we don't start off with any money. Um, we can trade and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. We just need to go exploring. We need to find some monsters. You got to have monsters to make monsters, which is, you know, how breeding works. So we can head into the woods. We can head into the city. We can head into the desert. Um, I'm going to go to the woods. From the woods, uh, from, from here, we can explore the woods or we can continue on to a new locale, the castle. Let's explore the woods just a little bit before we go into a castle. I think that'd be fun. So this game uh, is part like text adventure, part, you know, you get to actually like wander around uh, the locations, uh, exploring the dark woods. Uh-oh, jeepers, it's a slender man. We better capture the slender man. Murmur. <laughs> Oh, well, we, we got them. Put the Slender Man in their truck. Okay, so we have our first monster, the Slender Man. Um, we could continue exploring, or we could drive back to the ranch. I want to continue exploring, but I might... Can we just... Uh-oh, it's a Mothman. I was going to leave uh, so we could go, go to the castle. Uh, but sure, let's capture the Mothman. Oh, the Mothman flew away because we need specialty aerial monster catching gear. So I guess that's kind of the, the loop of the game. We got to breed monsters, sell the monsters so we can get money. And once we get the money, uh, we will be able to... Um, trade in the monster or we will we'll be able to trade in the money to get new gear to get new monsters you know it's it's a it's a gotta catch them all situation except you want to you want to catch them you want to sell them it's it's how it goes oh wait there's something here oh jeepers it's a jason Voorhees. can we capture the jason and he's doing the ch -ch -ch, which is the the correct one the kiki key, key, key stuff that's fake it's ch i don't care i don't care what what people say i'm a i'm a hardcore uh, fan of the ch uh, as opposed to the key. Uh, there was something... Yeah, there's an abandoned campsite here. Uh, so that might have been like... There might be special locations for monsters to show up. Oh, it's a Mothman. We can try. But we already know the Mothman's going to fly away. Uh, I'm not sure... Okay, well, what I'm trying to say is... I... I okay, we'll try it. We'll try it, we'll try it again. I think we, we might be able to just walk away. Uh, can I do this with WASD? No, I have to use the, the keys. Uh, like, you know, it'll... There's just like, you're wandering the dark woods. I'm guessing there's like, the monsters appear randomly in certain areas. Like, you know, in the woods, these monsters can appear. But then specifically, like, I'm guessing at that campsite is like a adjacent area where you can encounter adjacent. Oh, Mamma Mia! It's a dinosaur! Your truck does not have enough room for a dinosaur. Not the first time. Oh, a predator. Not the first time I've heard of the not being able to. <laughs> I love to hunt! My truck would not be able to uh, contain a dinosaur. Okay. So our truck is full. Uh, we unload the the Slender Man, the Jason Voorhees, and the Predator into the stables. Let's go view the stables. Um, let's check out. Let's check out the Slender Man. The Slender Man is such a scary, attired mon attired. A I I don't know words. Let's let's talk to Slender Man before we just throw him into the breeding pit. And Slender Man doesn't have much to say. I wonder if uh, talking to them just says the like if we talk, it'll just be like I love the hunt. <laughs> you and me, mano a mano. Okay, well, we can we can go mano a mano. The Predator is a very terrifying science fiction-y monster. Well, let's get the breeding. Um, I'm guessing there's probably some aspect to breeding where uh, the first one you pick will have, like, some precedent in the breeding. Let's let's breed a Slender Man with the Jason Voorhees. Let's see what we get. 
Looks like Slenderman and Jason Voorhees are mating. They're done. We made a Slender Jason, a beautiful child. See, this, that's exactly what I was hoping that it would just be a Slenderman with the, the Jason mask. Okay, so we got a, a wonderful new monster. The Slender, the Slender Jason is a spine-tingling, dim-witted crossbreed of Slenderman and Jason Voorhees. Ooh la la. So we can release them, but releasing them, that won't get us the cash that we, we crave. The telephone is ringing. Answer the phone. Ruth Perpbean. Hey there. Word on the street is you're breeding some exciting new monster combos. Would you be interested in selling? Well, I am interested in selling, but are you a cop? No. Okay, well, yeah, I'm selling. Glad to hear it. I'm looking for a monster that fits this description. Undead, odorous, dressed, folkloric. Uh, so we can we can give the Slender Jason. Slend Slender Jason is undead from Jason. Odorous. We can assume Jason smells bad. Slender Man is dressed. Folklore. This, I guess Slender Man's modern folklore. Here, have this beautiful baby Slender Jason. Slender Jason? That's the monster for me. I'm always saying that. Uh, okay, cool. We got 200 bones uh, for that one. So we can browse the catalog. Uh, if we were to purchase this aerial thing, we'd be able to go get us a beautiful Mothman. Um, but it looks like we, we may need to breed a few more monsters before we're able to... Uh, do anything like that maybe we should let's let's just breed one more before one one more breeding before we we continue on uh we'll we'll breed the predator uh because he wanted to go mano a mano oh slender man and jason are tapped out they cannot get back into the sack immediately so we're gonna have to go exploring for a suitable partner for uh for the predator and i'm gonna go to the castle because i saw the castle and i was interested in the castle after we caught a uh, the slender man i was going to leave the woods to go back to the castle but uh, you know, it seems like once we get to an area, we should just fill up our truck before we leave, unless we, we just get tired of what that area has to offer us. You drive towards the ancient stone castle. Its shape seems to blacken as the thunderstorm gathers overhead. I hope we can find a Dracula here. I love a Dracula. Uh, tremendous wooden drawbridge. So it's, it's kind of cool. Like, um, oh, we can jump. Uh oh, <laughs> it's a giant octopus. Yeah, we don't, we don't have aquatic gear. Okay. So we can just like, when we're here, it says we're on the wooden drawbridge. Uh, but we can just jump straight into the moat uh, and we could probably catch some. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to leave the giant octopus because we know we can't do anything with that. Um, oh, it's a ghost. See, I want a ghost. Yeah, boo. See, that's the classic. See, you know, just a great old, you know, sheet ghost. Uh, the arms are an inspired touch. I'm a big fan of the sheet ghost. You cannot go wrong with a good old sheet ghost. Um, so we could go ahead and get like a, a predator's ghost, like a specter door. You know, Neil's smarter than I am. Probably's got a good old, good old pun lined up for what it is. So there's a gray distorted paintings. So we might be able to find like a painting monster or some sort in that room. Dining room, no chairs. Oh, it's a leprechaun. I'm the leprechaun. One, two, three. Steal me gold and I'll murder ye. That's a good line. Well, I was going to say rhyme, but I said line. Doesn't matter. You're coming with me, leprechaun. Predator leprechaun might be good. Uh, hallway, candlelit hallway lined with glass windows. See, that's where you're going to find the real scary monsters. Northwest Spire, there's an ornate coffin in here. How do I get to the, the, the spire? Count Dracula appears. Can we get a Count Dracula? No, we need aerial monster uh, catching gear. That makes sense. The Draculas, they can turn into bats and they can escape. If we could only find like a like weak Alucard, like early uh, Castlevania Alucard, we would be able to, to get in there before, you know, the, the boy's able to turn into a bat uh, and have have ourselves a, a backwards Dracula. Not exactly what we're looking for, but uh, fine. Um, we, we want the full on count experience. Okay, so we're in the library. Might be able to find one of those scary, uh, oh, one of those scary like Mario 64 books that pop out, try and bite you. Uh, book sticking out conspicuously. We're, of course, we're going to pull it out. And we found a secret passage. Okay, so that dark shadow is a secret passage. But let's see where, what else we have here candlelit hallway so this is going to be similar to the other way probably going to lead to a spire a gargoyle can we capture the nope gargoyles can fly despite being made of stone can they got some get up and go yeah we're just gonna leave we can't do anything about the we can't do anything about the gargoyle i'm leaving the gargoyle nest uh because we can't seem to do anything with there let's check out the secret passageway um and i'm just noticing down back at the moat that there were uh there was it seems to be another direction i can go i'm not really looking at the um uh, the keys, in, or paying attention to the shadows that uh, 
the darker blue shadows seem to show like, oh, you noticed there was a room there, but you didn't traverse that way, which is nice. Uh, we're in a dungeon, broken shackles on the wall. What can we find in the dungeon if we were to just walk around? A Frankenstein. Oh, oops, I right click, but luckily it doesn't show up. Oh, speaking of not showing up. Uh, well, first we're going to appreciate the Frankenstein. Get in my truck, Frankenstein. It's 55% full. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm so sad. Um, the way uh, OBS, the uh, software I'm using to capture uh, footage, the way it, it uh, captures cursors, you can't see my, you can see my cursor. You can see the cute little frog, but the frog animates uh, and it's very good. The frog like eats a fly. Um, I changed it for like a video last year and then just never had the heart to change it back because it's, it's the cute little frog eating a fly. I'm not going to say no to that. Okay, well, it looks like... We could just return to our truck with our our goods. I'm not sure if we can catch more than one of each uh, creature, monster, fiend. So like we, we already found a ghost in here, so I'm not sure if we keep walking around, we can get like dupes on ghosts. Um, all right, so let's, let's just take off. Let's get out of here. Um, we do still have room in our truck. Well, we might as well just drive back to the ranch. I don't know if there's like a, a days past element that could be a problem. So like if I were to come back here, um, if I were to say like, you know, like breed predator. Yeah, Slenderman and Jason Voorhees are tapped out still. So perhaps you're not able to get every single monster in a run. Maybe at some point we'll be able to afford um, like breed gel where you rub the gel on your monster and like, oh, I could go for a breeding again. Okay, let's see. Let's let's talk to our ghost. What's up? The ghost is an extremely scary transparent monster. Yep, that's what I'm always saying about ghosts. Yeah, boo. You know, they don't say much, but I do appreciate them. Okay, so ghost. Ghost. I think would be better as a, rather than a base, as a thing to mix into a monster to give it that ghost flavor. But also, I'm, like I said, just a big fan of, of this whole business. So we might want to combine something with that now. Frankenstein, what does Frankenstein have to say? Frankenstein, you know, quite the intelligent monster. Fire bad, yeah. You know, it's it's all about heart and soul, you know, the birth of cyberpunk and that kind of stuff. I, don't, I guess the horror, I don't, I don't remember a lot about the the Mary Shelley book. It's been a while. Uh, I, I, th I, I don't know. I, I feel like there is a link we could draw from uh, Frankenstein to cyberpunk, but I'm not smart enough to make that argument right now. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna pretend I didn't try to make that argument. And we're instead going to uh, breed this leprechaun with the predator. I've decided. Beware, beware me leprechaun's curse. Steal me gold and I'll murder you worse. Yeah. See, we got to chill this, this guy out. So we're gonna, we're going to make um, this leprechaun top the the predator is, is what we're going to do. Oh, I see. We can release them. So I'm guessing we could release Slender Man and then go capture another Slender Man so we could breed more Slender Men uh, would be the idea. Okay, let's let's get a breeding. Leprechaun and predator are mating. They're done. The lepred the lepredicon. <laughs> the chi their child is beautiful. Um. It's a fearsome science fiction crossbreed of a leprechaun and a predator. Not bad. Uh, we're not getting a phone call. I'm not sure if we we probably have to leave this uh, menu to get a phone call. But let's let's breed another thing. I want a Franken ghost, Ghostenstein. Uh, so the ghost, it'll probably just end up being a ghost with Frankenstein's head. But if we were to breed the other way around, we'd probably get Frankenstein with a ghost head. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the ghost with a Frankenstein head. I think I think I think that's the way that's the way it's been working thus far. So let's just go ahead and breed. And seeing as there are, oh, Slenderman and Jason are back in the the mix. I guess maybe like once you breed, they're tapped out for a moment. Then after you breed again, they get better. Or maybe enough time passed. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about the mechanics of the game. Frankengeist. That's exactly what I thought it would be. And it's great because, you know, there's so many combinations. There has to be, uh, you know, an algorithm for how this works, like how you combine uh, the the sprites for them. Uh, what it says about their their text like maybe like in specific instances where if you breed a very specific thing that has a very good pun maybe it'll have custom text uh, but i'm guessing most of this text is just some kind of you know algorithmic smashing together of their name since this game was made in two weeks and has 1176 combinations a uh, creepy ancient crossbreed of the ghost of frankenstein it is exciting uh, so let's see if we were to go and breed again. So if we were to like come back to Jason and say like, hey, Jason, I want you to breed. Um, yeah, the leprechaun and the predator are back on the menu, but we're going to back out. We're, you know, we're 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 not here to collect them all. We're not going to catch them all. We're going to um, game saved. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I checked to make sure that this like still worked. Uh, and there is a feature for uh, exporting and importing your saves. 
So I'm thinking at the end of the video, I might give y'all my save if you're interested in playing more. Uh, that way you can just pick up where the video leaves off. I thought that might be a fun little thing. Even if you're not interested, it's going to be there regardless. Uh, Michael Tarplord. Yeah, we're breeding exciting new monsters. Gotta check if they're a cop. Huh, no. Okay, I'm selling. Okay, you want something that's old, transparent, sci-fi, and green. Ah, well, that could be the Frankengeist. It could have been Le the, the Leprechaun, but the Leprechaun isn't trans... Well, I guess, I guess predators can become invisible, so... Frankenstein sci-fi-y. But... Take the Leprechaun. Okay, so it was it was the Geist. I was I was overthinking about it with the um, the Predator's invisibility. Like, oh, perhaps that that fits the the uh, the bill for the thing. Okay, uh, we still are short five hundred dollars, which seems like a lot of the the things that we needed to capture like aerial stuff. Let's go into the city. Let's see, if we can go into the city. We can go into the suburbs. I'm more interested in the city and the suburb. Let's see what we can find here. Parker truck. Tor Torpor Street. There's probably a lot of references I'm not going to get. I've seen quite a few horror movies, but uh, but uh, you know I'm also just don't remember things super de duper well anymore. Oh, uh, Terminator! Can we get to the Terminator? I love terminating. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you do, bud. Get in the truck. Oh, a gremlin. Oh, I'm gr glad the gremlin was in the city. I would have expected a gremlin in a. Uh, I guess gremlin could be in either suburb or city via Gremlins One or Two. Two being the superior movie, they belong uh, in. They belong in the city, is what I'm saying. Uh, Cello Street. Oh, Button Street. Oh, there, there was something that I, I didn't notice the text was going too fast. It, I thought it said something like, oh, there's someone behind you. Maybe if I had turned around in that moment, something knocks against the trash can and some businessmen pass, pass by. Uh, Art Deco Skyscraper. Okay, so this is probably um, uh, a reference to Gremlins 2 uh, and probably why we were able to find a gremlin in the area. An old man stares silently at you. Okay, so there's just like some fun flavor text that seems to randomly appear from time to time. <laughs> Cryer Drive. I'm not really uh, approaching this in an intelligent way. I'm just kind of, <laughs> you know, just blundering down, hoping something. Oh, a high tech scientific research building. Let's enter the science lab. An alarm is sounding. Okay, so we can just go back to exit. Did it say oh, alarm? I think it said an alarm was sounding. Let's see what we can find in here. There's a lot, a lot of possible monsters in the robotics. Oh, robotics lab. I want a robot. I'm going to just doop, doop, doop. Go back and forth, see if we can spawn in a robot. That would be cool. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave. That was that was enough running around in circles. That wasn't very long running around in circles. Uh, a xenomorph. Can we capture the... Oh, we don't have enough room for the xenomorph. Maybe we should, we should get out of here, I'm guessing. Because we could have bred the xenomorph and the predator... And then the alien versus predator would have instead been our slash fic, and that would have been nice. Uh, but alas, our truck did not have room because I think our truck's like 55% full at the moment. Caution signs line the walls. Some sort of contaminant room. Hmm. Probably should be. I wonder if you can die in this game. Uh, Wilkers, an invisible man appears. Sort of. What are you looking at? Well, maybe you. 70. Let's let's go ahead and go back to the ranch. Um, since we are, we've got mostly a full truck. It would have been a little, a little bit of a trek to get back. Okay, so let's visit the stables. Um, let's let's get a breeding invisible man. Mm -mm. Invisible man. When you combine something with an invisible man, does it just become invisible? Let's breed the ghost and the invisible man. But I also want to. I'm I'm guessing if we breed invisible man on top of something, does it just lose its face? Uh, okay, wait. Let's let's start let's start breeding. Okay, well let's talk to him. Yeah, you're, you make yourself clear. We 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 get it. Okay. I oh the ghost is still tapped out. Damn it. Okay. Well, let's um let's let's wait then. Let's let's come back to the Invisible Man because I want to breed Invisible Man and Ghost Gremlin. Uh, we can put the Gremlin head on something, or we can put a, a Gremlin something on the Gremlin head. And I think that's not exactly what I was trying to say, but you, you get it. We can put a, a, a something else head on a Gremlin body, and that's exactly what I want to do. Um, do we want to? A terma gremlin. Let's make a terma gremlin. Sure, let's do it. The gremlin and terminator are mating. They're done. Here we go. The gremlinator. I was off <laughs> with that name, but we did. We did it. We made a beautiful child. We got told monsters are set up of how our list is changed. It's the smart thing I was trying to say. Uh, Ghost, are you ready to? You ready to get breeding? 
with the Invisible Man. The Mantasm, great. Okay, so I want to breathe. I want to breathe the Invisible Man again, but this time as the base. But I'm guessing the Invisible Man is a. Uh, <laughs> The Invisible Man recently made it. Give the other monsters a turn. Well, all right. Um, who hasn't been bred yet? Uh, I think we've bred everybody at least once. Uh, so I guess Slender Man will get another go. Last time we made uh, something with a Slender Man. Uh, we, we did Jason and Slender Man. So, you know, maybe Jason and Slender Man are in love. Maybe this is meant to be. Let's see it the other way. Like maybe this makes a unique combination. If yeah, the slender Jason. Last time I think we made like the the Jason man, Voorhees man. I can't remember. We sold that child so fast. Um, let's answer the phone. Kimberly Thomas. Uh, it seems like they say the same thing every time. Some fascinating new monster hybrids. Uh, don't worry. I'm not. I'm always gonna check because eventually, you know, a cop's gonna call and they're like, "Yeah, I need this monster so I can go terrorize more people and or try to arrest us for the crimes of making beautiful monsters smooch, which shouldn't be a crime, but unfortunately, it might be since we're asking if everyone's a cop." Okay, sci-fi, futuristic, small, man-made. Well, I got just the thing for you, the Gremlinator. Yeah, it sounds perfect. It sounds perfect to me. That's what I said the second I saw that beautiful child pop out. I was like, "Damn, that's a perfect creature right there." Okay, so uh, I believe when we checked this, it was like 8000 bucks. So this seems like probably once we start um, monster breeding, we don't have a license. Oh, no, without official. So, okay, so this is what we, uh, this is why we're asking if people are cops. It's not that it's illegal. It's that we need a license and we do not have a license. Uh, the Monster Beauty Pageant Flyer. Oh, okay. So you, we can make 30000 uh I almost said gold and six dollars, my dumbass. Uh, we need a large weight class creature that's quiet, has a demonic presence, green colorization, agedness, odor, hairlessness, and attire. Hmm. One monster breeder. One monster per breeder per contest. Okay, so if we if we get a thousand gold dollars, the golden dollars, we can uh we can enter a monster if we had something like that. But we do not. Stables edition. Oh, we'll probably eventually run out of stables. We can currently hold 20 monsters. Oh, okay. So we can't just keep collecting indefinitely. We will have to eventually up our, our size. So we'll have to let someone go. Uh, monster pheromones is just let us breed more. Oh, increases. No, it lets you. <laughs> I thought it would let them breed more. But no, this uh, attracts monsters uh, to us better. Okay, well, that could be a useful use of $100. I think we want um, the aerial gear. So yeah, we have enough for the aerial gear. Uh, so we can go capture ourselves a Dracula instead of exploring a new area. And then we can, like, we already have this. You already own the equipment. I think there was a means to sell something back I saw, uh, like, back here, like, with trade-in. Oh, so if we were to, like, okay, I'll give you this. and If we were to trade in something else, maybe. Or maybe you can trade in uh, items. Anyways, let's purchase the pheromones. And let's go get ourselves a damn Dracula. Because what what else would we, what else do we need? There's probably cool things we can can we find anything no we if we go back to the ranch it is just like the menu okay i wasn't sure if there would be like a you can explore the ranch and find a thing uh, but that doesn't matter because we're coming dracula i guess we could grab a gargoyle while we're here too since we uh we paid for it yeah we count dracula i will suck your blood <laughs> yeah right buddy get in the truck and we'll go ahead and grab a gargoyle while we're here i don't know what we're gonna do with the gargoyle but we might as well grab one because we're here come to me gargoyle Oh, maybe gar Oh, there we go. I was going to say maybe Gargoyle doesn't want to come. Stony silence. That's fine. You don't need to say anything. You just need to get in the truck, and we'll go back to the ranch. Visit the stables. Who is Dracula going to get with? I am excited. Okay, first, I want to breed Invisible Man and Ghost again if they're, if they're ready. Just to, you know. See, we believe in true love on this ranch. Mon monogam monogamous monsters. If we get another Mantasm. Okay, did I do... Inv I thought I did Ghost and... Invisible man last time. Okay, so we have two mantasms. Um, hopefully we can... Uh, boo boo. Invisible looking boo boo. Boo do. Mean look can't boo boo. Okay, well. We, we, need, to, we need to unload on these mantasms. Because uh, we have gone into the hex amount of numbers. Uh, which is... You never want to go into the hex amount of numbers. Uh, what am I trying to do? We, I wanted to breed... I want to breed the Dracula... But what do we want to breed a Dracula with? Why do I have two Gremlins? Oh, because Gremlins multiply. Oh, geez. Oh, no. 
Um, oh, wait, we can always release them. That's not a problem. That's just a, that's just fun, you know? We can just release them if it becomes a problem. Um, let's talk to Dracula. Let's see, let's see what Dracula is feeling. You love blood. Okay. So if Dracula loves blood, Dracula's probably wanna, gonna get with someone who uh, has blood. The ghost did not have blood, because that was my gut reaction was Dracula and ghost. But <laughs> ghost is going to be my uh, gut reaction every single time. Uh, because just ghosts are great and the ghosts are my favorite monster because there's just infinite possibility with ghosts um, You know whereas like like a Dracula. I love a Dracula But Dracula is you know the the lore behind Dracula is a little bit more Concrete in the minds of people even though you know a, a Dracula doesn't exist in real life Unfortunately, so a Dracula can be anything the same way a ghost can be but a ghost, you know Just has more flexibility. Oh, there's I just noticed that's tip Oh, this is just oh, okay. So this is just like some gameplay stuff here. I say that, and then I didn't read. Uh, Monsters who've already bred with this one have a check mark. However, if you breed them in the opposite order, oh, okay. So perhaps I did just breed the ghost in the same uh, manner I did last time, and I didn't notice. Or the part of the tip. Uh, however, if you breed them in the opposite order, you can get different looking aggregates. Okay, so it gives you a check mark if they have bred, but maybe not if the the loop de loop and pull is what I'm trying to say. And I, I stalled here for a while, but I'm I'm gonna. Does Frankenstein have blood? Boy, I hope Frankenstein has blood because we're going to we're gonna make uh, Dracula and Frankenstein. They're gonna mate. Count Frankula. See, of course, this is what we want. We wanted a beautiful child, Count Frankula. And you know, let's just go ahead and let's release a gremlin. Yeah, get, get out of here, gremlin. Yeah, with that heavy heart, as I was just like, get out of here. Stop, stop it. Uh, Catherine Rumfield. Yeah, bringing some exciting new monsters. You a cop? Excuse me? Uh, bye. Okay, so that's the problem with uh, accusing people of being a cop. They might uh, they might leave. It does seem like we were able to make the phone ring again by visiting the stables. Matt Sweetser. Yeah, cop? No! Okay. Uh, gothic. No-legged. Sad. Supernatural. Would that be a mantasm? That sounds like a mantasm to me. <laughs> Do you want two of them? If it's so perfect, would you like a second one? Because I... Uh, okay. Uh, perhaps... Perhaps that was just dumb luck that I was able to do that. Unless we just keep going back and forth. Hard to say, but let's let's go exploring. Uh, we haven't seen the suburbs, uh, but we haven't gone into the desert at all. So let's see. Uh, we can explore the desert, or we can check out the lake. Let's check out the desert. Maybe we can find something fun there. I wonder if the desert is just like a big, wide open area, um, as opposed like to the others where, you know, there's like some like dungeon design there. Oh, Leatherface and the, yeah, yeah, I guess Leatherface in the desert makes sense. Oh, that's nice that the chainsaw moves up down. Wah, wah. Which is d definitely the noise of a chainsaw. A chainsaw sounds like a, a, a warrior, not a, not, you know, like a, wah, wah. That, that, that's the noise. That, that, that is the noise. Like, wah, wah is, I'm not saying that wah, wah isn't a good onomatopoeia for, uh, the chupacabra, oh hell yes. Uh, I'm not saying Winway is a bad onomatopoeia for it, but you, you know, what does Mark Map do? Oh, we can mark like specific spots if there's something we're interested in. Chupacabra, goats. Can't argue with that, get in the truck, baby. I can't wait to breed that chupacabra. Love the chupacabra, that is a that is a fun cryptid. Um, but also that's a, a cryptid that I remember uh, hearing a lot about uh, as a wee lad. Oh, the, uh, I just noticed the use pheromones thing. I, <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Um, I just thought that was like a permanent upgrade, uh, but I started to read. My eyes opened. I started to read. Dark cave. I thought we could find something cool in here. Can we get a skeleton? I would love a skeleton. A skeleton is like a bone ghost, and I already said big, big fan of ghost, but also big fan of bone. Uh, so it, you know, uh, cyclops. Oh yeah, I guess like in a. Is the cyclops in? It's in the, not the Odyssey, the, the Iliad. I think the Cyclops is in the Iliad because I think it's on the way back that they encounter the Cyclops, but it's been a while and my memory has gone bad. So it's it's, it's hard. It's impossible to know. Capture the skeleton. Yes, I'm Bones. Get in the truck. Go back to the ranch. Um, and we're going to breed that skeleton. Hell yes. Uh, skeleton. We're going to make a skeleton ghost. I think we're going to make a skeleton, oh, but I'm, um, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm getting excited. First, we're going to breed uh, the chupacabra. Chupacabra. I want to talk to chupacabra. Give me goats. Well, I don't have goats, but how about a gremlin? That also starts with G. <laughs> the the chup chupa magua chupa chupa magua like like the with the gremlins. They're they're magwais. Yeah, I get. It. 
Um, I, I was I was also kind of like, what if what if the chupacabra just ate the gremlin? Like maybe if it was like you know Gizmo style Mogwai and not Gremlin Gremlin, you know. Uh, another face. Um, you can. Well, we'll talk to you first. Oink oink oink. Mm -hmm. You can breed with the gargoyle. So we can have like a gargoyle face, leather face, gargoyle face, gargoyle leather. <laughs> All right. Uh, and now it's time for, for skeleton and ghost. Okay. Oh, wait, do we have enough room? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we're out of room. Let's let's back out. Let's answer the phone. Uh, Vanessa Ratby. Ratby. I wonder if there's um a tell in like their name or what they say about whether they're uh they're, they're a cop come to get us shape-shifting naughty on the small side see-through is that our leprechaun leprechaun shape-shifting it's on the small side it's naughty uh the predator has see-through because i don't think the chupacabra has uh see uh see-through stuff uh, let's just try the leprechaun uh, okay, that wasn't it. Maybe it is the the Chupa Mogwai. Oh, okay, so perhaps we can have a... Perhaps they can ask for monsters we don't have, and this isn't just like a, you know... Oh, I have to, to solve it. Um, I also did not write down what she wanted. Um, oh, man, we're... But I want, I want to breed again. Can I call her back? And be, is having her as an option to call back... Oh, wait, we can have more room? Because we just spawned in another gremlin. Get out of here, gremlin. So if we can spawn in another monster, I thought we, we could only have 20 monsters. Because we... Oh, I just noticed it says you have 20 monsters. I didn't have to count. Uh, thus revealing my inability to count, even though I've, I'm technic... Te well, technically, I am literally a math miner. I should be better at math, but uh, my, my brain has just melted from all the math I did in college. And it's not getting back. Okay, so we can put... A, do we want to... I want I want the skeleton to top. That's what I want to do. Let's let's talk the skeleton before we breed. Check out my ribs. They're sweet, my man. So let's let's go ahead and breed with the ghost. And let's 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 make something good. They're done. The haunted skeleton. Mwah, the perfect creature. The child is in fact beautiful. Um okay, so <clears throat> I know we didn't check out all the biomes. Uh, and we didn't see all 1,176 possible combinations of monsters. But Monster Breeder is pretty fun. It's cool. It's cute. Um, if you want to, like, jam out to some Lemon Demon. Oh, we never really talked about, like, all the things that Neil Cesariga has done throughout the years. But, but that dude's been, like, doing shit since, like, 1999 on the internet. Just, if you don't know who he is somehow, and you're watching this, which is absolutely ridiculous to, to think about... Just an absolute cornerstone of just internet stuff, at least for for my my generation of people who found internet stuff. Uh, just very very cool stuff, just all around. Lemon Demon, very good. Spirit Phone, one of the greatest albums ever made. Um, the album Mouth Dreams, uh, a Neil Cesariga like mashup thing, just came out a couple days ago. You can go check out all of these things. You can do all that. You can help the Sioux Tribe. Uh, you can toggle the music off so you can listen to Lemon Demon. While you do that, and I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, I, I can put this on screen, but like that's not going to help you. So, uh, and this also might be too long for the description, but somewhere in the uh, description, there'll, there'll be a link or whatever for the save file if you want to continue playing Monster Breeder. So that was Monster Breeder by Neil C. Siriga. And yes, I did fail to click the toggle music button.